Well, hello everyone. So today I will show you a little bit of security with the XP Mac Wallet. As you can see here, uh, there's no file or anything or no access to the um, console. So what we will do is, first of all, you have to download Brew, being able to uh, use Brew. So install brew mac 10 13 or mac whatever version of mac you have installing homebrew and then from here you should be able to get this right here so all you have to do is ruby this part actually so copy and then paste it right in your terminal and then just leave it and it'll do it its thing and then you have to enter your pro uh, and then you have to enter your super user password all right so from here we just have to wait all right once the wait is done what you have to do is do brew install python 3 Alright, I already have Python, so you won't install it, but install Python 3. And then you have to type pip3 install Python Python Bitcoin RPC. Alright, I already have it, but yeah. So once that is installed, um, do a brew install git just make sure you install git if you have git then do git clone https dash dash um then github dot com slash my account name shbour and then crypto RPC simple CLI. All right. Once this is cloned, go to crypto, and then um, open a second terminal, new window. Go inside your uh, open your xp.conf file. So I will do vm and then library application support xp forward slash xp in capital dot conf all right and from here look at the rpc user and rpc password and rpc port so what you want to do here then is vim then simple cli.py and then Right above here, RPC user. You use the same user you have here, RPC user. So it will be user. And then the RPC password will be RPC password. Copy. Paste. There we go. And then RPC port will be, well, the same RPC port on this side. So 28. 191 so 28 oops number lock was not locked all right 28191 all right from here escape uh, sh hold the shift and zz all right same thing here hold shift zz and then let's do python 3 simple cli.py and then enter all right so what do you want to do all right so the security i want you to do is encrypt your wallet so first of all we'll encrypt the wallet all right so we'll encrypt type encrypt 
press enter and then enter the encryption password here. All right, so as you can see here, it's in plain text, plain text. So be careful uh, about the um, over the shoulder attacks. And yeah, make sure there's no one around. All right, so enter an encryption password here, one, two, three, and then wait. And then it has encrypted the wallet. All right, from here, you can do stop to stop the wallet. Well, to stop the daemon. And then first close the GUI. Ignore. All right. So now that you have your uh, wallet unencrypted, let's go back to the wallet right here. Open. Then wait for it to open. All right, as you can see here, now the wallet is encrypted as, as since we encrypted it uh, before right here. Uh, encrypt, encrypt uh, encryption password and we entered 123. So let's do clear to clear the password. And now to unlock it, you have to do unlock. Um, sorry about that. Python 3 to open the wallet. Uh, to open the CLI. Alright, what to do? Unlock the wallet. Enter wallet encry uh, encryption password, so it's 123. And then, how long in seconds you want to keep the wallet unlocked. So if you just unlock for redrawing stuff, or make transactions, well, you can just do 6 seconds for a minute, 120 seconds for 2 minutes, and so forth. A small amount just to give you t enough time to uh, do the transaction. But then if you do it for staking, you'd have to use a huge number since you don't want to unlock it every day or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna use a huge number, so nine, 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 and then enter. And then as you can see here, it's unlocked. All right. But uh, as said previously, uh, there's a huge number because I'm staking, but it doesn't mean it's on. It's the same as unlocked for staking. If you look at the Windows Wallet, uh, when you do unlock on the RPC commands, then it completely unlocks the wallet, and anyone can just redraw or whatever. Um. And then from here, I'm going to show you how to back up your wallet. All right, so to back up your wallet, you got to do backup and then enter the, the full path you want. So let's enter a path. All right, users, Shabor, and then desktop because we'll put it on our desktop. And then you enter the, and then you enter the name file. So uh, let's say yeah, wallet dot dat. No. And then we have to enter the wallet file. So let's do text flower dot txt. All right, and now you have text dot flower dot uh, text flower dot txt. And as you can see, it's impossible to read what's inside of it. It's a dot format. Uh, convert it into TXT so it doesn't have the same encoding and or whatever the same kind of reading so now that you have your text flower TXT here you can come in get info make sure to uncheck hide extension and then change the name here for wallet dot that and then use that all right so now as you can see here it's a dot file although it says txt here all right so now we can leave the simple path the simple cli we can go to desktop 
and then you can do cp wallet at that and then destination to library application support and then xp and then right here actually so enter and now if you and then yeah that's it so you just copy the wallet at that to the wallet and then you have to restart the wallet if you want to read the wallet at that file again so let's just wait for this to close all right now that the wallet is closed you can open this here wait for it to open all right and now that the wallet is open again you have successfully imported the wallet at that file and that will be it for this tutorial about um, security and I will see you with another tutorial another day.